expecting you. Oh my gosh, I hope you weren't waiting very long. <laughs> so good to see you. Oh my goodness, I've been out and about. Been running all over the place. Did you see the bag? Yeah. Yep. Well, what are you drinking? I have some lemon iced tea that Nola made. Absolutely delicious. She put it in the sun yesterday, so it's extra brewed. Oh, let me catch my breath. Come here. Come on. Where have I been? Where have you been? Let me know in the comment box. Leave me a comment. Simple yes or no. Did you go to the Hobby Lobby sale? I had full intentions of staying way away from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is my closest craft store. I have everything that I need to make the things that I want to make. I have projects with yarn and patterns lined up in the queue ready to go. You do not need any clearance Hobby Lobby yarn taking priority off of these monster eyed whips. Looking at me, waiting to go. Well, they're not whips yet. They're waiting to be whips. So I have been avoiding Hobby Lobby for the last, what, week and a half that people have been showing their hauls. I've been watching the hauls. Oh, I'm so excited for everybody. They're getting some amazing sales. Well, Donna, Gabby and Grammy sent me a video tutorial link on a mosaic Apache Tears little zipper bag case. I'm in love. I need to make this. I need zippers. <laughs> and the woman is incredibly creative. She's sweet. She's talkative. She's fun quickly becoming one of the new besties. <laughs> oh, just on my side, the woman has no idea who I am. <laughs> I've only watched one video, but she's very charismatic. So I need zippers. I've been procrastinating on the Hobby Lobby, but it's been a week and a half. My store usually does not have the orange sticker sales. If they do, it's probably just a couple of little items and they go right away because it's the only craft store all the way around and people go, people buy the yarn. So I've been avoiding it and I figured today might be pretty safe. I just really need to get the zippers. The zippers are on sale this week for all of the zippers are 99 cents. So I wanted to grab a couple zippers. So I grabbed a couple zippers. Okay, let me show you my massive, huge, massive savings. Hobby Lobby haul. It all fit in one bag. When I got to the cash register, the woman gave me my total and I paid cash. We're done. Let me show you my sale. I'll use the noise reducer on that uh, bag sale. So the woman for the pouch said seven inch zippers. I found this nice little metal one. I picked this one because it's got those great big teeth. And I think that anything I put in my pouch might have less of a time getting zipped up in it. I got a seven inch pretty lavender one because pretty. And then, so the step one in the tutorial shows you how to do an embroidery slip stitch kind of all the way around as a base that you will then crochet off of to create your bag. I found this. This is pretty much, she uses a needle and thread and does a very basic embroidery stitch, which these are the zippers she uses but I might have to send her a little note and say, hey, I don't know if in Iceland they have Hobby Lobby, but she might be interested. Just get her to talk to me. <laughs> so I got my zippers for my pouches and I wanna get started on those. In all of the Hobby Lobby hauls that I've seen this year, I've seen a lot of um, different weights of fibers, lots of different fibers. It's all beautiful. But I haven't seen anyone talking about any of the thread being on clearance. And it's just eating me up inside. You know I love working with my little stuff. So when I went to the thread aisle, I was hoping they have these 
paint box kits of embroidery thread with all the different the different tones in them and I was hoping man maybe if those were on clearance I think the smaller box is a beautiful assortment of variegated threads I think they're number 10s 10 10 thread I don't think they're three they're not the um the fashion I think they're like 10s eight oh five I think it's classic 10 they're beautiful oh they're beautiful and they're usually 11.99 i know it's not breaking the bank but i thought you know if i go in and it's orange tag clearance i've got a little money burning a hole in my pocket it's okay they weren't and then they had little balls of like a, a full palette which would be really nice to have but don't need it i have i've created a full palette right which was part of my reason for going in too. I have a lot of embroidery thread colors and there's not very much that I would want. How's that? So this was on sale clearance, but it's not the orange tag. It's just the yellow $1.99. These are usually, let's see, the artiste. It's usually $2.99. I got this one. This one was one of my two orange tag sales, $1.49. That's a sale. It's a sale to me. But I didn't have that color. The other colors, I don't know if they did put their thread on orange tag. I it seems to me like I have such a big variety. I couldn't really identify one over the other that I didn't have. So there's my massive yarn haul, people. <laughs> Oh, and so then I noticed that people were finding notions and I've had my eyeball on this notion for quite a while. It's a wonder needle threader. These are $8.99. No way I'm going to buy it and save my eyes for $8.99. I know I should. I should worry about my eyes, especially with the little thread, but it was on sale for $3.99. I'll let you know how it works. Maybe we'll do a little, a little sampling. I like that the 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 um the threader part the little metal wire threader part is not exposed so i could put it in in my little um case that i carry with me with my needles and my little scissors and i won't have to worry about that getting bent back and forth because i travel a lot with my stuff my stuff doesn't just sit so i like that and i thought 3.99 and i've been eyeballing it all this time let's do it <laughs> They also had an orange sticker on a shuttle, a tatting shuttle, tatting, let's see. Um, it's like an Irish lace work. It's working with threads. Um, it's um, football shaped. It's got two pieces and you wind the thread around it. Let me come back to that. So that was on clearance, but I didn't buy it because I'm not sure. I need to research the hobby just a little bit more and see if some brands or some styles are a little bit better or more user-friendly than others. It's on my mind because <laughs> we have a brand grand opening, brand new to us thrift store called Savers. It's warehouse style with lots of departments. It's huge. It's by far the biggest thrift store we have around right now. The girls and I used to drive, oh, about an hour to go to a Savers that was closest to us. Excellent deals. Rock bottom prices. Oh, you come out of there feeling like you just brought, found a treasure chest on the beach. <laughs> well, yesterday, Ryan and I went to Savers and it was our grand opening. So I was expecting some grand opening sales. Highly disappointed. Um, one of the things I always look at is kids books, because if I can find kids books or um, teen books for a great price, I like to pick them up and put them in my little free library. Their books were right around $5. I found this little catalog and it was $1.99, which I pick these up at thrift stores all the time for a dollar, less than a dollar. But it's, a, it's from the 60s. I looked it up online. Um, I can buy one on Etsy. Etsy, Etsy. <laughs> I can buy one on Etsy for 
$11, which I don't know why. These are just those little cash register. And this one has a variety in it, a variety. So in one section, way in the back. So I was reading this yesterday when Ryan was at boxing. I was inspired by this little passage right here. Here's all you need to know about tatting. This is it, folks. Two pages and you're a pro. <laughs> and then, okay, look at that image. <laughs> it looks like my kind of hobby. <laughs> and then the very next pattern in there is a very simple tatted doily. Oh, <gasps> it's beautiful. I want to make beautiful things. I don't know. Maybe I'll start out with, I read it all. It's okay. Yeah. They're even using the little embroidery threads that I buy. Yeah. I don't know. I think I want to watch a hundred more YouTube videos and see if that's a hobby for me. So I went to go check out their yarn department. I look at the books. I look at the yarn and then I'm usually pretty ready to go. Oh, I stopped by the kitchen area and I found a copper jello mold shaped like a rooster. So I'm going to add that to my collection on the wall. It was $7. Usually I pick those up for around hmm, under five usually, but it's, per, it's the older one. It's the dark, dark, dark copper color, the brassy look. Um, he's heavy. He's one of the originals. I bought him. He's on the wall. <laughs> so then I went and looked at the yarn. I have never seen such craziness in my life. They were, they had balls of scrap yarn, cake, not even caked up, just 10 round balls. And they had four balls in a bag stapled at the top. So you couldn't really open it or smell it or, you know, check out the strength of it for $9.99. I don't know, people. I don't know how you're going to survive as a thrift store. And I was kind of thinking, are they just taking advantage of the fact that in the town where the thrift store's located, there are no craft stores. There are no major department stores. We don't have a strip mall through there. It's all discount stores. And it's a bit of a lower income area. So I know a lot of people walk, public transportation, that sort of thing. I, I don't know. Ryan wanted a couple of pairs of shorts and they were $10, $15 each. And I just felt like that was absolutely ridiculous. One of the reasons I am extremely picky when I go to Goodwill, ever since Goodwill partnered with Target and started bringing in Target's clearance items for regular and selling it for regular retail price, I don't trust Goodwill. I see what their CEO makes and I'm not sure what Saver's situation is, but I fully believe Every town needs a good thrift store for many reasons. People can take items there that they no longer need and donate them. It takes away from our trash cycle situation. Also, people in need can go there and set up a house or close their, clothe their children or pick up an outfit for an interview or, hey, celebrate just a special occasion and go buy yourself something frivolous and nice and not break the bank. We need thrift stores. We don't need thrift stores selling things at outrageous prices. Unpopular opinion. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I was a little irritated and I don't think I'll go back for maybe six months. Let, let's see this grand opening mellow itself out. So when I was in the checkout, I was checking out, there was a young lady talking to um, a co-worker and she was talking about how they have this area off to the side of like higher valued items and they were talking about a designer purse that was donated and how expensive it was and she said i could go buy that designer purse new for much cheaper and the girl was telling her i know i know i don't know what they're thinking with the prices you know i don't know and i said well kind of butted in a little but I was irritated with the yarn situation I'm going to attach some pictures in the back of, of examples that I took um they had a whole bunch of granny squares somebody sat and made granny squares and it looked like a wheat stitch 
granny square. They were all different colors. It looked like um, the yarn is um, Karen one pound. And there was a whole bunch of them. They put five granny squares of the same color in each of the bags. The bags were $3.99. So to get all those granny squares and stitch them all together, you got a $100 blanket. So I kind of butted in. And I said, well, since you're talking about it, if you could please pass on the word to someone that might be able to take a look at it. The yarn situation over there is absolutely ridiculous. I said, right now, Hobby Lobby, which they are, they're not, are having a massive sale where you could pick up a whole skein of yarn for $1.50. Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, yes, it's a bit of a drive away, but they're always having sales and online sales. No one wants to buy scrap balls for top dollar. And the girl goes, oh, I don't, I don't really um, go look at the craft section very often. I, wow, yeah, that sounds terrible. And I was like, well, pass it along. As a crafter, I'm not coming here to buy yarn or crochet hooks. I said, I did find the book is pretty expensive too. And then I kind of just walked away. I, I didn't, didn't want a full blown conversation out of it, but I wanted to let someone know like, hey, come on. Work with me here. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe we'll wait, I don't know, a couple of months. Maybe I'll pop back in if I'm in the area and just, you know, do a little browsing. We'll see, we'll see. So that's it, that's my huge massive Hobby Lobby and my thrift haul and yeah, kind of slim pickings, huh? <laughs> so if you're into thread, Hobby Lobby does have um, quite a few of their threads. If you want to make some doilies or some little amigurumis or you want to check out the micro crochet. Um, their sewing thread was on sale too, um, but I have quite a bit of the colors in that as well. So I chose not to participate in that part. Well, I'm going to get started on those little pouches. Wish me luck. I'll see you soon. Take care. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday, TGIF. We made it. <laughs> Take care. Bye.